video is going to be about what I'm packing for a two week narrowboat trip. If you don't follow or don't know what's going on, my husband and I have recently bought a narrowboat and we need to move it to a different marina in order to live on the boat. So we need to move it to a residential mooring. And we found one, but it's further up north. And to take the boat there is roughly going to take around 12 to 14 days. And so it'll be our first sort of experience continuously cruising and actually the feeling of living on the boat for the two weeks. And yeah, so I've been trying to figure out what my style is going to be for the journey. And it's kind of a nice taster because being that we're going to be living on board the boat, there are a lot of things about my style that are going to be changing and um, yeah so it's just sort of like the kickoff of that and like figuring out how I'm gonna stay stylish sort of a beginning to what it's gonna be like dressing for living on a boat so as of recently my style has been going through a bit of an evolution anyway um, I think being with lockdown and not having a job anymore and essentially trying to get my own thing going from home and not going out as much, all those things taken into account, your style does tend to change and you kind of evaluate how much um, frivolous or sort of one-off occasion fashion do we need in our lives. And in my previous job, I used to travel a lot. I was a stylist, so we're often flying to a different city to go um, on shoots and stuff. And so I'm used to packing and sort of figuring out what I'm gonna wear for like short trips. But I used to find it so hard back in the day with obviously like my excess of fast fashion and clothes that were just not functional. So I was always driven to shop according to this vision of what I wanted to look like because I saw that on so many other people, but it made no sense for the practicality of my life. And so most of that stuff has been or is being sold on Depop uh, currently. So yeah, I'm left with like the core basics and really good standard things that I've had for a really long time that I really, really love. And over this past sort of few months, I've really enjoyed just wearing the hell out of them. And um, it is a very basic, sort of more minimal, practical style, but I just feel so good about it. And I'm really enjoying it and it's really making my life and getting dressed every day a hell of a lot easier. Some people might say, why bother? Like, why does it matter? Um, why do you care so much? Just because I do. And when I look down and feel good about what I'm wearing, it does immensely change how I go about my day. This last weekend, we were just on the boat um, doing the last like sort of bit of fixing and getting it ready to go. Uh, we leave this coming weekend on uh, Saturday. And I packed really badly so obviously I was just working on the boat and all I needed was like sort of comfy clothes to just like get some jobs done but I changed the outfit I was wearing on the Friday afternoon last minute and so I was lacking in some layers and I won't bore you with the details but basically I ended up with like two bottoms some t-shirts and one jumper for three days so it meant essentially I was wearing um, it's this black jumper right here. It's one of my favorite basics, but I didn't want to wear that for three days straight. So even though it didn't really matter, I know that to me, I feel better when I have a few options and I can just vary my style slightly from day to day and feel really good in what I'm wearing. And yeah, I just care about this stuff. So if you do too, keep watching. to the success I think and I hope I'm right of a trip like this is going to be definitely in the layering so I've read as much as I can about the weather but basically it's like a transitional month September and it could be up or down and none of the weather channels are kind of saying that they're sticking to what they're predicting for the month of September and so I don't really know what to expect but I definitely can expect wind rain I'm hoping for sun, but I think it's going to be quite chilly and um, basically expecting the unexpected. So layering is great because then you can like just take off or pack on as you need. And the beauty of being on a boat is that your room and your wardrobe is right there with you. 
And so, yeah, as the weather changes, so can you. everything very neutral and in general my whole style has become very neutral um, over these last few months and I'm enjoying it and I love it that way I'm taking only two sort of large comfy jumpers my favorite one of which is this um, it's pure wool so it's a bit itchy and scratchy but if you layer it with something underneath it's really really great I picked this one up at a kilo sale like a vintage kilo sale it's quite heavy and quite thick and like outdoors you will not be getting chilly in this it is so good um, and it looks really chunky and great with a pair of jeans and a pair of sneakers and I love this one love the little flex in it I love that it's like a traditional type of like fisherman's jumper so this one's great for underneath um, when it comes to big jumpers obviously it's good to have a lot of basics to layer so if I'm wearing something super thick like that or if the wool is going to scratch me, I'm wearing like long sleeve tees. I've got three, so I'm bringing a white one, like a charcoal grey, and then another white one that's very thick. Um, T-shirts, your basic, you want to just have a bunch to layer, and I've gone for varied colours so I can create those colour contrasts. So I like a high neck tee, and these sort of things become sort of crucial when you have a very minimal style. So under like a round neck jumper, for instance, if I was going to wear one of these guys, so this is a lighter weight jumper, so I've got the heavy weight and then I've got lighter weight layering as well. Um, so underneath here, you want a high neck tee so it actually shows and then you've got a little pop of white or a little pop of light grey or a pop of black and it creates a little bit of difference, a little bit of interest if you're into that kind of sort of minimal detailing. So yeah, I've got all my high neck tees great charcoal gray one this one also i got from a charity shop it's made in italy it's a brand i don't know m-i-d-a but um it is like my favorite fit of t-shirt ever such a lucky find and i think i googled it they're like retail for like 70 pounds like i love this t-shirt coming with me everywhere um so yeah i've just gone white black gray and a dark gray so that'll do me and then Tank tops, I think, are a really, really, like, essential thing. I kind of went off them because I don't really like to show my arms. But if it's, like, a warm day, it's really cool to wear something tight-fitting. And then I've got over here, like, oversized, uh, lightweight jean jackets. So that'll be great for layering underneath there. And I've, I'm also bringing... I'll oh, show sure, you. Yeah. My two standard fairs that you see all the time, if you follow my Instagram, um, I wear these things to death. But I am testing them because I hope to eventually, obviously, make them to order and sell them. So the checked one and the oversized linen one I'm bringing. And because it is going to be a bit chilly, I probably... And because it is going to be a bit chilly, I probably will need to just layer up something underneath and these days i don't like to wear a bra so wearing a little tank top underneath is like way more comfortable gives you a little bit of warmth so you don't feel too airy underneath and um yeah just a really great thing to have on hand i think i am bringing four pairs um one colored pair which is like a balloon fit which i love they're kind of like baggy and roomy and super comfortable they look great on the leg like that's for like if i have a really comfy day or just want to like move about easily like they're so so good two pairs of levi's the levi's made and crafted which are amazing they're a super dark wash and they just really look super sleek but they've got a bit of stretch so they're also super comfortable um, and then also, I've shown these in a previous video, the, my favorite old, like original Levi's 501 skinnies that I altered and bleached. So they've got a knee rip, so they look a bit rugged and they're comfy casual. Um, and they just go with a whole bunch of things. And then I'm bringing my totem jeans. So what made up my mind with these jeans that I'm bringing is how they look with sneakers or with a chunkier sandal so i'm only bringing in terms of sandals um a pair of birkenstocks 
and a pair of Tevas because both, if I'm wearing socks and I'm inside the boat and I need to get outside the boat, but I haven't got my sneakers on, I can slip these on easily. And um, yeah, they can kind of get messed up and they're easy to clean as well if it's like muddy or anything like that. And if it's a warmer day, then I know I've got a summer shoe. So that's amazing. Otherwise, I've just got two pairs of sneakers. And so these look really great how they fall on the leg and meet the sneaker. These might sound like very meaningless details, but they're the kind of things that you really start to narrow down into when you start making a more minimal wardrobe because at the end of the day, all you're wearing is jeans and a t-shirt and then a layer, like a jumper or a jacket, which is totally average, sort of normal clothing. And I just feel that if you think and pay attention to those little details about how the sneaker proportion looks with the width of the ankle on your denim and sort of things like that, they kind of just can really refine a very average look and just elevate it a little bit so it feels a little bit more special and feels like you pay attention to uh, the fashion that you wear. So that's what I love. In terms of accessories, I'm bringing one little lonely belt and I don't wear belts a lot, so I always bring one when I travel, like, not that I travel, I don't know why I'm saying that, like, I travel, I don't travel. When I go away, or when I have gone away in the past on holiday, I always bring a belt and I never end up wearing them. Um, and just day to day, like, it's very seldom that I wear a belt. However, I recently um, wore this outfit together, so I was wearing this balloon denim with this sort of beigey camel color jumper and I wore it with this belt and it was super tonal and lovely. And so I'm bringing it because I definitely plan to wear this outfit again, wear it with a high neck white tee popping out, it looks amazing. And so um, because of that, I'm bringing the belt and I don't actually have enough clothes here to do me for two weeks straight. So I will be repeating outfits. I'll definitely be wearing the denim two, three times and um, rotating obviously the t-shirts. If I need to hand wash something, I can. Otherwise, just wear it twice, like it'll be okay. For jewelry, I am just bringing a selection of gold hoops. So obviously all my standards, like I'll take my rings, the necklaces that I always wear, um, my two bangles, cause that sort of stuff's comfortable. It doesn't fall off, it doesn't get in the way, like I'm not gonna lose it, it's on me. Um, it makes me feel put together. And then just for like, That was just the door. Um, incense arrived. I've just opened it. Um, we actually bought this for the boat just to have something that keeps it smelling fresh. Obviously, it's close quarters. There's going to be three of us um, for the trip, and obviously, you have a tiny loose situation. So, yeah, like just something to keep it smelling fresh. Maybe I'll light one of these a bit later while I'm packing. Um, what was I saying? Jewelry, yeah. Um, in terms of earrings, I really just like to have a selection of gold hoops, so I can throw on anything, I don't have to think too much about it. Um, but having that variety, even though they're all so similar, just makes me feel like I'm a little bit different every day, and that matters to me. Sizing is also like a thing for me, like I like to have like a mid, a very minimal, and then something with a bit of difference. Like I wouldn't be wearing a gigantic hoop with a very high neck jumper, but if it's a warmer day and I've just got like a t-shirt and um, a lightweight jumper, then a larger hoop looks amazing. So it just depends, I guess, what you're wearing and what's gonna make you feel comfortable. bringing two pairs of shorts, a biker short or a cycling short, whatever you want to call it, and one of my fave linen pairs that you obviously saw last week if you're watching. Um, a bandana, which I actually use as my face covering instead of a mask um, when I go into shops. So, and it's also a cute little necktie sort of detailed accessory. I don't want to feel like too, um, 
girl scouty, which I feel sometimes a bandana can be, especially with this selection of clothing. But if I wanted to, I'd wrap it around my neck. Like maybe I'll feel inspired um, when I'm out in the UK countryside. Who knows? One area that people are going to probably think I am absolutely ridiculous for doing or having as much or worrying about or bringing this much along with me is my sunglasses. Um, I just can never like narrow down my selection for a trip. Like if I'm going over the weekend, I always take two pairs, which is so silly, but like two days, two different pairs of sunglasses makes no sense. It's my guilty pleasure and I lean into it and I need to stop apologizing for it because they just make me feel so good. I love them. And even if the sun's not shining, like when it's a bright day and there's just like clouds in the sky, it's bright. I need to like shelter my eyes. So my decisions on sunglasses were basically obviously Ray-Bans because if you want to always look classically cool, you can't go wrong with Ray-Bans. So definitely those. And then I love these Givenchy ones. I've had them for a while and I probably wear them like the least, but it's the one pair of sunglasses that when I bought them, I was like, I'm going to wear these all the time because they are such a sort of like classic, I guess like 80s-ish um, shape. And I just love them. They're really, really simple and they feel so good. They're like comfortable, not too heavy. And they're also like, my hair's getting a bit longer. So I often find myself putting my glasses on my head just to get it out of my face. Like when I'm busy during the day or whatever. And these don't fall off or slip off or anything, which is also essential when you're around water and you don't want to be losing stuff in the canal. These Versace ones are like super like 80s and sporty, which I love. I've been wearing them a lot lately and um, they're just too cool to leave behind. So those are coming. Um, my fave old Celine glasses. I actually haven't worn these ones like all summer long. Um, I think they might quite enjoy just because they are Celine and like um, I just love like the classic Wayfarer style like they're just really, really rad. And um, yeah, I love these. And they're a point of difference. So they're like a little bit of color, like when they're on your face, like they make you look a bit like, you know, a little bit different and stuff. And I just really love that about them. And then also these, um, you've seen me wearing these a lot lately. So just like a sleeker, sort of more like classic black pair. And again, like all of these, like I just check, like if I put them on top of my head, like are they gonna fall down? Not really a fan of the glasses on top of the head thing but I will be honest like I just end up sometimes I'm not always carrying a bag and then I just end up if they're in my shirt like they end up falling out or something like that um so yeah I'm tending to do that more often these days I'm bringing along two lightweight jean jackets they're an easy lightweight throw on layer and they kind of make you look effortlessly cool because of the shape of them and like how they hang. Also, a little sneaky trick with having these on board with me will be that if I wear the lighter denim with the lighter Levi's, it kind of makes your Canadian tuxedo vibe. So then I look like I have like a full look that I've like put effort into and really thought about. And the same with like the darker one, if I wear this with the Levi's Madewell denim, then it's also that kind of like very put together like crisp denim feeling look. So I love that vibe and um, I could layer these over anything, but together with those, if, I don't know why I'm thinking like, oh, what if we go into like a pub one night? We probably won't. This journey is gonna be, I think it's like six to eight hours of continuous cruising every single day for two weeks straight. So we're gonna be tired. It's not gonna be a lot of time for anything which also like, if anyone's watching this, probably gonna say like, why do you care about what you're wearing? Like, yeah, I'm probably overthinking everything, but that's what I do. And I guess before any holiday, this is more like a functional trip, but before any holiday, that's the most exciting bit is like dreaming up what you're gonna wear, isn't it? I'm bringing two hats for this trip. The one piece of advice that I think we get the most is about, sort of being prepared for the rain and um, the best ways to be protected from it because obviously you navigate the boat from the stern, I think that's the back, and uh, it could be raining and because we have to do continuous cruising a certain amount of hours every day to sort of like make our goal, 
Um, yeah, if you're stuck in the rain, you just gotta go. So wide brim hats was one of the things that we've just been told and obviously a great jacket and just gotta like do it. One lady um, had said, you just have one change of clothes in the morning and then you change in the afternoon because one's gonna be soaked through and that's that. So preparing for that kind of thing to happen. Um, I've got this really cool one that is in like a techy sort of um, sort of windbreaker fabric so it'll feel like a little bit waterproof and it's got these cute ties which are super fashiony but also practical so if the wind's blowing it's going to stay on my head but also will um, protect me from rain and please lord let the sun shine on some days if the sun does shine I'll also um, protect my face my good old favorite bucket hats. I've worn this so much like in my backyard sun tanning um, over the summer and it's reversible. So you get the cool checked side or you get the beige side and I love it. Um, also love wearing it just like the front flip top, which is super cool. Yeah, I never used to really like hats at all. Like you couldn't get me in a hat for anything um, unless like maybe a straw one at the beach, but not really. And it's mostly because I was very attached to my bowl cut. So I used to have a very edgy, um, straight, very short bowl cut with sort of down to my skull shaved sides and very attached to that hairstyle and still love it. But obviously recently over lockdown, just started growing out my hair um, because we couldn't go to hairdressers. And then when I knew we were gonna be on the boat and thinking about a nomadic lifestyle where you could be moving around a bit, moving towns, moving places. I just, I'm not gonna be that person anymore that's able to go to a hairdresser every six weeks and get a trim. Also, it's always been like a major worry of mine every time I've, like, if I've moved cities or um, been somewhere where I needed to get a haircut and I like, wasn't sure of the hairdresser. It's been a major issue, like, worrying about how they're gonna cut my hair. Sort of straighter, edgier cuts like that are very hard to do, I think and I've had some really bad ones. So um, sort of the upkeep and maintenance on that is not gonna be something I need to be worrying about anymore. So growing up my hair into what, I'm not too sure. I've always loved short hair, so it'll still be on the short side, but I think just something that is maybe in a bob zone so that if it does, if I go, have to go six months without a haircut, that's totally fine. And no one will really notice or know. So, um, yeah, that's a major change that I'm going through, but I'm excited, like I'm going with it. Let's, um, let's see what I end up looking like. The two jackets I'm bringing is this glorious find that I bought, oh, I think, was I used to have a shop and um, 2014, 2015, and the place I used to get the supply of like my shopping bags, um, for the store had a outlet next to it and this is a i think it's forever 21 it's one of those where they like slash the label because it's like i don't know discounted wear or something anyway i bought it not thinking and it's like such a great find reason being it is a cape so it does attach here with a little press dot so it makes like a little sleeve but it's um yeah this cape style and it zips up the front with this like long collar and it's padded so it's warm and it's obviously got a hood which is super functional. It's really great because it doesn't determine what you're wearing underneath. So you can wear your like thick, chunky, large sleeve jumpers or you can wear like a lightweight denim jacket underneath and just throw this over the top for warmth. Um, but it's not one of those jackets where it like determines what you have to wear underneath or that covers up a whole outfit. It kind of like adds to the outfit and it's like cool, layered kind of way. The other one I'm bringing is obviously just a standard um, a standard raincoat so this is like a thin really thin you can see it's like see-through it's just a raincoat so it's just for layering um, slips out you can like cinch it in at the waist but I don't really like that style it's very oversized and I like that look um, again it's got like a wide sleeve so you can totally wear like your thickest jumper underneath so you'll still totally be warm side note it's got like vents and stuff in this thing but you sweat a lot in it so it's, it definitely keeps you warm, it keeps all the heat in. Um, but yeah, you can wear like a chunky jumper or again, like a lightweight jacket underneath and just throw this over the top. Um, and it's great, you totally protect from the rain, but um, you can still wear 
exactly what you're wearing for the day and just if it's raining pop this on top um yeah i like the idea of making the most of my outfits and not just going oh, i'll just wear this and throw this jacket on and i'll just wear a t-shirt and throw this heavyweight jacket on i like the idea of being creative with my layers so that throughout the day i can take things off and i can be wearing a tee and jeans but then i can also be wearing a lightweight jumper i can have a denim jacket over the top of that and then if it rains i put my raincoat on go back inside take it off it's very functional but i still will feel like i look a little bit different and not boring and mundane so that's the idea and the thinking with my layering. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing for my trip. I hope you enjoyed seeing the looks and um, next week I'll be on boat. So if you like this video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, give it a like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And if you're excited to see what these looks look like in the real world, and in real life on a boat, um, watch next week's video and I'll be sharing some cool style tips on how I sort of put together very basic looks and the key things with layering that sort of really pull a look together and make it work, make it functional and make you feel really great.